indication that the lime and silica balance is not far enough over on the silica for this one. I just did a soil report this morning for a cherry grower in Australia mm -hmm. and his silica level which has climbed in the soil but it's nowhere near where it ought to be. He had 34 parts per million silica and my aim as a target for cherries is 110. Okay, yeah. so, so I need more basalt. <laughs> yeah, well it would help it, but the basalt has got all those other like, with us. cations in it. Yeah, right. So you really need you really need the horsetail. I was going to say, can't you just understory horsetail horse everywhere? Yeah, it's uh, it's hard enough to get horsetail in Ireland. Yeah. Yeah, somebody yeah. was telling Down me it here, grows it everywhere. Down here, like it's even getting to see it and stuff. Ah, I thought Dave said they have it all over the place up there. Yeah, up in the Midlands, though. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. there's no reason we can't propagate it down here. Yeah, you could bring some starts. Yeah, and the problem with the land down here is the land has been kind of, used to be all ancient forests. It was cleared by the British and burned. And then modern agriculture has <laughs> cleaned it, cleared it into a monocultural rye grass. Right. And years of like, every two or three years and rotivating and this was good farmland for things like potatoes and oh, yeah, stuff yeah, like that yeah, so yeah. they grew way across so the really, crops around yeah. yeah we'll have a look at the apple trees down here okay this year i'm going to put a lot more effort into the tree paste and the sprays because pretty much we planted oh, yeah. these and we established them and it was a case of if you survive you'll be tough enough to live here <laughs> but <laughs> we've been so busy we haven't been able to give them the attention they need yeah see again all these mosses are showing you you don't have clean enough bark. You don't have enough uh, enough lime. I'm sorry. I'm not silica. silica. And these kinds of things are showing you a weakness in the tree. So, what's happening around the roots, no doubt, is nitrification, and then that breeds a kind of bacterial condition that slows down the root exudation. It kind of stuffs it up. The bacteria form capsule. And their outer, like, outer, uh, their cell wall, their outer coat, and that capsule sort of like, like blocks the root exudation, and that those kind of bacteria feed on that high nitrate condition. Okay. So the plant takes up nitrates, and then it still doesn't get them all processed before it comes down as root exudation and that feeds that bacterial condition that makes it split out here because it can't get down yeah and you see that in the other apple trees down here as well actually. okay so, is this another one of your hacking so, yeah that's my mobile <coughs> chicken house so i just unwrap that those flip over and i have bars that clip in and it becomes a dome so it's easy to move around the place, but then I can throw a tarp over it. <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> I love it. Then it's what I, I had. I love it. <laughs> it's what I had. That's great. Well, so you can see, like, they've, they've, get, they've gotten better over the last two or three years. So you can see canker is quite an issue on them. But I yeah. think you're right. If I put in out more basalt and... Yeah, yeah, you really need the horsetail. You can get dried that's, horsetail. That's and, the one and, you oh, and need. I, I have it as a prep, but again, <coughs> our real issue has always you been time. You need to find somebody that can bale it in big round bales. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And make it cheap enough, you know? Yeah. It's a weed when it takes over a field. And they're growing uh, like grains like barley and wheat. And it takes over that kind of field, especially if it's a field that the runoff kind of goes to. Because then the silica running off of the other fields ends up there, and the horsetail says, Thank you very much. I have my job done. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have to worry about it. It's so, getting could silica. you just take a bale and ferment it then? And yeah, you know, well, that's right. You could, you could make your compost out of it. <laughs> Jeez, we've gotten very friendly. And this is another one of your like favorite weeds. Or oh, rushes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but look what silica indicators they are. Well, yes, it is, but it's kind of like. It's growing where rice otherwise would grow. Jesus, it could be a good market for rice in Ireland, yet. <laughs> I, if you told I farmers wonder, they could replace rushes I wonder, with rice. I, yeah, I wonder if you couldn't grow, couldn't grow rice here. I'd say, I'd say you could from what I know. But also, like, there's another EIP project in Ireland is on biochar, and it's up in Clare also, and they're using rushes. 
rushes and well, brambles that's a good and have to waste and use yeah. the barrage because yeah. they can bail it very easily and then make the biochar and use that as okay uh, well that's an idea yeah if you're going to make biochar make it out of something like that the waste yeah something that yeah. isn't really that good for anything else but my plan in the long run is that it wouldn't be grass in under here that it'd be like yarrow it'd be dandelion it'd be all those kind of plants so they're grown in the environment yeah. Dandelion is great in an orchard. It's really the kind of thing you need. Yeah.